A spitfire in the sky above Biggin Hill Airport. During World War II, this would have been a common sight. There aren't many eyewitnesses left to the Battle of Britain, which took place between July and October of 1940. But 100-year-old George remembers. I was born in Whitstable on the North Kent coast. And when the war broke out, of course, I saw a lot of the Battle of Britain, which was mainly fought over Sussex and Kent. Because so, when I used to see the Battle of Britain, the Spitfires and Hurricanes fighting up there, I thought, they're really something, these chaps up there, not realising how dangerous it was. But uh, when I, I did my training in Canada, and when I came back, they were asking all the pilots and that what they command they wanted to go in, and nearly everybody said fighter command because they wanted to fly Spitfires or Hurricanes. And, uh, but of course, at that time, their Chief Marshal Harris was building up Bomber Command and nearly everybody got put into Bomber Command and that was it. Fellow centenarian Harry also remembers it well. I was amateur radio, I had my own radio. So I used, I used to rig up the radio and, and listen to it all on, on the radio with headphones. So what did you hear? Well, uh, about the actions and sector that was going on and how many aircraft were being shot down, etc. You could hear the Germans on the radio, Achtung, Achtung, Spitfire, Spitfire, uh, and then they'd be direct, and of course you had the Englishmen also, yeah. The veterans were here at Biggin Hill Airport for an event to remember the Battle of Britain. The victory of the RAF over the Luftwaffe is seen as a turning point in the war. At the time, Biggin Hill was the base for the Spitfire and Hurricane Squadron scrambled to fight off the German attacks. Now, a statue honouring those who took part has a home at the site. This work evokes the glorious history of Biggin Hill, which Churchill called his strongest link. During the Battle of Britain, Churchill knew that British freedom, indeed what he called the cause of civilization, depended on the skill and devotion of a few thousand airmen. The few that he so memorably celebrated are movingly evoked by this marvelous statue of the pilot scanning the sky and awaiting the call of duty. When you see the 12-foot airmen looking up to the skies, you can't help but look up too and remember those who fought so courageously to prevent Hitler's invasion of Britain. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Biggin Hill. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.